Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number one, in the book of faith, hadith number 79, that the Prophet said, whenever you see anything wrong, the best is if you can stop it with your hand, you stop it with your hand. If you cannot stop it with your hand, then stop it with your tongue. If you cannot stop it with the tongue, the least you can do is curse in your heart. And then you will be the lowest level of mu'min, the lowest level of believer. When you see something wrong with the duty of the Muslim, if he can, you should stop it with the hand, number one. If he cannot, stop with the tongue. Ask him to stop that activity. If he cannot, the least he can do is curse in his heart. Then he is the lowest level of believer, the lowest level of mu'min. According to the Quran, Dawa conveying the message of Islam to non-Muslim is a fard on every Muslim. Allah says in Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3, Wal Asr, by the token of time. Innal insan ala fi khusr. Man is verily in a state of loss. Wal Asr, inna insan ala fi khusr, illa lazina amunu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haq wa tawasaw bil sab. Except those who have faith, those who have righteous deeds, and those who exhort people to the truth, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. For any human being to go to Jannah, minimum four things are required according to Surah Al Asr. Iman, that is faith, Amal Salihat, that is righteous deeds. Watawasa bil haq, inviting people to truth, and Watawasa bil sabr, inviting people to patience and perseverance. And Imam Shafi, Rahimullah, he said, that if this Surah Asr was revealed, it would have been sufficient for guidance for humankind. Imam Shafi Rahimullah, he said that if this Surah was only revealed, this one Surah of three verses would have been sufficient for guidance for humankind. It is so powerful. So if you want to go to Jannah, it is first you should do all four things. You may be a very good Muslim. You may be praying five times a day. You may have gone for Hajj. You may be fasting in the month of Ramadan. You may be paying Zakat. But if you don't do Dawah, if you don't convey the message to the non-Muslims, according to Surah Al-Asad, you shall not go to Jannah. Only Dawah is also not sufficient. All four are equally important. Iman, righteous deed, Dawah, Watawa, Sabil Haq, and inviting people to truth and inviting people to patience and perseverance. If you don't do dawa according to Surah Al-Asr, you shall not go to Jannah. If Allah wants to forgive you and then put you in Jannah, if you don't do dawa, that's Allah's prerogative. Because Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4, 116, if Allah pleases, He may forgive any sin. But the sin of shirk, He'll never forgive. The biggest sin in Islam for any human being is the sin of shirk associating partners with Allah. It is a duty that we tell to the other non-Muslim brothers and sisters that you worship only one true God. And Allah shows you a way in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 64, in how to do dawah, how to convey the message of Islam, how to do jihad, strive and struggle with the non-Muslims, with the Quran. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 64, Kul ya hal kitab say O people of the book, Ta'alaw ila kalimatin sawa in bayna baynakum, come to common terms as us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bhi shayyon. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yatta khizabad, dunabad, dan arbab and windun illa. That we erect not among ourselves. Lords and patrons other than Allah. Fain tawallahu. If then they turn back. Fakul shadu. Say, bear witness. We are Muslimun that we are Muslims bowing our will to Allah. This verse of the Quran shows you a way how to do dawah. Come to come in terms as between us and you. We would so beautiful things by this man. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. He taught us to love and to care for each other. That is the sunnah of the chosen one. Loving for you.